Hey guys, it's Jason Creel and you're watching The Lion Care Life. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I am fixing a bare spot in my lawn. I'm gonna give you some tips and talk you through uh, and give you several different things you can try to help a bare spot fill in. Let's get started right now. All right, so maybe you've been in a situation like this where you've got a, a nice green lawn except for a big bare spot in the lawn and it can be an eyesore. I had a customer call me yesterday and he was complaining. He said, you know, his yard looks good, but he's got a few spots that look bad and he was wanting to know what to do. Well, in a situation like this, there's going to be, uh, you know, a couple things that I'm going to give you to try, uh, several things that can help this to re recover. And there's going to be some factors involved. Now, one, you might want to ask yourself, what caused the this bald spot in the first place? So is it a situation like this where something may have been spilled? Is it, uh, I had one the other day where the yard was turning brown in a spot and it was because it was on top of the septic tank and there was very little topsoil. So it was drying out from the hot weather. There may be other situations where there's something going on in the soil. Maybe there was a tree cut down years ago and that decomposing stump is causing problems with the soil. If you have a recurring problem where you 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 fix the bald spot and it becomes bald again, then it, it may be something going on with the soil. But anyway, that, that can be helpful in understanding um, what you're trying to accomplish. And then understanding the time of the year and understanding what type of grass you have. So in this situation, it, it's warm weather. We're in June at the time of this video and I've got Bermuda grass. Now, yeah, if you were, let's say we were in the fall and you had a cool season grass, something like rye grass or fescue, then maybe you just overseed it and you fix it quickly that way. But with, in this situation, warm season grass, Bermuda spreads quickly and we got hot weather and we got rain in the forecast. Those are all positive things. So let me show you a few things that you can do to help this process uh, go as fast as possible. And to be honest with you, you know, the Bermuda spread super fast. This whole yard was redone and just plugged and watching it recover. And then just a few months ago, you see these big bald spots. This was almost completely bare where a new septic system had been put in here and it's recovered a lot. Now you may notice there's a little different color to the part that has the bald spots versus the part that doesn't have the bald spots. That's because I put a lot of fertilizer on it to encourage it um, to fill in faster so it's a lot darker green and I do think it's going to be filling in quickly because you'll see what's happening is the Bermuda grass does begin to spread and it's uh, forming new roots as it spreads. All right so what I'm going to do in this situation with this ball spot I just went and bought a cheap bag of topsoil. Now if you get some that, that's a little bit looser material that can probably help for the, the rooting and some people say they'll use sand in a situation. Uh, I've heard landscapers say you want to go heavier on the topsoil if you're going to mix them together. You know, maybe two-thirds topsoil, one-third sand. I'm just going straight topsoil in this. And that's just to give it some nice loose dirt to help it, uh, hopefully, encourage it to spread and take root. Now, I'm not going to put it very thick. I mean, just probably like a half inch or so um, to give it some nice soil here. To, to take root in. Now that with the Bermuda grass, once it starts spreading, it'll form new roots. So let me do that first, and then we'll talk to you about the other tips. I'm just going to take a metal rake and, and try to even this out best I can. Now, the Bermuda grass that's already in there, it'll start spreading and taking root in this new soil. But what you can also do, and let me address this first. Why, Jason, you say, Jason, why are you, wouldn't you just put seed 
and there. Well, the type of Bermuda grass I have, you can't actually grow it from seed. So normally with our warm season grasses, you can grow warm season grasses from seed. It needs to be hot. But honestly, uh, the, with the way the Bermuda spreads so fast, I think it'll be almost just as fast just to let it spread. And again, I don't want to mix a, a, a different type of Bermuda grass with the type that I already have. So that's why I'm not seeding again. If you had cool season grasses and the right time of year, that might make more sense to seed it. But in this situation, I don't think that's best. But what you can do, if you want to speed up the process, and let's say, you know, in this situation, there is a little bit of Bermuda grass there to work with. But let's say it was completely bare, and maybe even bigger. It was a 10-foot bare uh, spot with a, a 10-foot diameter around a circle. You can use something like this. This thing's pretty cool. It's on, uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's called a Pro Plugger. But what it does, and you can actually take about 10 plugs with it, but you step on it, and it pulls a plug of dirt out here. So I just got one plug, but like I said, you can get about 10 at a time. I'll show you. Now this is easier done when the ground is a little softer, which we had some rain recently, so it's not too bad. So you see the holes that it left in the yard. Well, for that, you know, I can just take a little bit of my topsoil, if you're worried about that. Take a little bit of your topsoil and fill those holes in, and that's gonna recover super fast. The Bermuda grass will fill back in those holes in no time. So now I've got the sod is loaded in, into the pro plugger and I'm just gonna dump it out here. The last one gets stuck sometimes, so you have to push down on it. But you see the way it comes out, it's pretty cool. So that's got nice roots in it. So uh, now I can use the pro plugger again and I've, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six plugs there. So I can evenly space those out throughout here. Again, this would be super helpful if you've got areas that had no grass in it where it was a lot of bare spots. But this is gonna help this to speed up the recovery even in this situation. So if I do that, actually I guess I could have taken these uh, plugs and filled my holes that I took while I go, but nevertheless. All right, so I got my plugs. Now I'm just gonna set those down in the hole. And because you're getting them down in the ground, they have a lot better chance of surviving. They've got good roots on them and you're sticking them down in the soil so they're not gonna just dry out. Uh, super fast. Now, of course, watering is going to speed up the process. And you can do that. You know, I could have did that in, in January. You know, and that's not going to grow, but I could go ahead and get some plugs and they'll begin taking root over the winter and then they'll fill in. Now, I've got some grass, but I still got a bare spot. We got warm weather. We got rain in the forecast. I'm just going to take a little bit of fertilizer and see if we can't speed the process up a little bit. So I've got a high nitrogen, slow release fertilizer. I'll show it to you. There's some white pellets and green pellets. The green ones are the slow release. So this will actually feed them on for months. The white ones are a quick release. So I just had to put this down one time. It's gonna really uh, encourage that Bermuda grass to take off and fill in the bald spots. I might even fertilize the grass around the bald spot. Of course, you can fertilize your whole lawn. You know, you may end up with a situation where it's darker green in some situations. But in this situation, the, the surrounding grass now is fertilizer, has been fertilized, so it may encourage it to grow and start closing in the gap from the outside, as well as the plugs starting to spread toward the outside. And we can really get this filled in quickly. I'm gonna show you one more trick. All right, last trick for this video. 
This is a product called Podium. So you see here, it's a plant growth regulator. I use this on my lawn, golf courses use this. What it does is it takes the energy of the grass, the plant, and the energy it uses to grow vertically, it makes it grow more horizontally and grow deeper roots. So it can cut down on the amount of water you need. It can definitely reduce the amount that you have to mow the grass. But what it can do also is encourage it to spread more laterally. So what I've been told is products like this can help bare spots to fill in quicker. Now, in this situation, I've actually already sprayed the surrounding area um, with this product. It, it will reduce mowing by about 50% and we just use it during the aggressive growing season. We do it about once a month and the rates are on the label. But it's a great product It definitely cut down your mowing but it also can help a bald spot fill in. I appreciate you watching the video. I'm Jason Creel. Hopefully this, uh, you learned something, but I would expect that this spot, just guessing, I'm gonna say maybe you're six weeks with water that you might not even know that spot was there. But I'm hoping within even a couple of weeks that we'll be able to see the bare spot start closing in. These are some tricks you can try, but I've got over 600 lawn care videos on the channel. So if you haven't done so, I would encourage you to subscribe or just click Lawn Care Life and go check out the other videos. Also at LawnCareLife.com, there's resources for those that are in the lawn care business, whether you're mowing grass or doing weed control and fertilization. I actually grew in my entire yard with very little grass doing similar methods to what I taught you in this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye.